and I got a great story I want to talk about. Not to pivot, but we tried to create a mutiny. Uh, my freshman year at uh, talking about old coach night, we actually created a mutiny, Jim. Uh, great story. We just went to Iowa, got a bus kick, my first Big Ten game. I didn't care because I scored. I was like the highest score point, 11 points. We didn't play well. I'm a freshman. I'm like, man, I just had a great game, right? Uh, so all of a sudden, we get a phone call. I don't want to put the players out there. They say, hey, man, don't go to practice. Come out, come over to our house. It's like, why? Where, why are you not going? Because, you know, Coach Knight had a couple guys in the locker room for a long time at night. They wanted to create a mutiny. So we actually did. We didn't go to practice. We went to somebody's house. No one had cell phones, right? So you get your voicemails. Your voicemails are blowing up. You're calling your voicemails. With your codes, they're blowing up. And all of a sudden, we're scared as I don't know what. We're freshmen, Neil Reed, Andre Patterson, myself. We're like, what are we doing? I don't want to be the coach's pet. They go to go to practice and nobody's there. I got to hang with the team. So long story short, that wasn't fun. But we did it. <laughs> I guess we got, our, we got our voice heard too, right? Uh, so it happens, man. Players mute out coaches sometimes. It happens. So I can only imagine at the professional level, when you have all that money involved and what you're making and you're coming in play, telling players what they're going to do, how they're going to do it. Now, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I can see that that kind of decision kind of breaking up a, a, a team like the Pacers in an organization. How they're talking about, they have to rebuild. Well, let me go back here. So you all mutin, had a mutiny on a Bob Knight practice? Yes, yeah. yes, we did. We sure did. did you, we, so we did, sure you did. Skip, did you skip the whole practice? We skipped the whole practice. Literally, we – we were we were on our way. We were staying in Reed Dormitory. There, we, we were on our way to practice, and all of a uh, sudden we heard, "Don't go, come to our house." We're like, "Huh? What do we do? <laughs> what, what do we do? We go, we show up. We might hear from the players. We go to we we don't. We're gonna hear from the coaches." I'm like, "Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go with the, our players." So we literally did. We sure did. Got, I'm not you don't, got, no lie. We did it, man. We you, have, you know just, just for one minute, if you yeah. will, take me inside the locker room of a Bob Knight when he is at his when he is on his tirade. Well, right. you know, I know you can't, I know you probably can't use all of the expletives that was used, right. but take me inside that locker room for a minute. Paint that picture. I want to know Bob Knight when he is in your chest. Yeah, so 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 a part of this story is this. So we don't go to practice, uh, and, and and we hear the story. You know, again, you know, one of the players, you know, people can use that. They can kind of come to a conclusion who it might have been. He was one of our star players back in the day. Um, it was my sophomore. It was yeah, freshman year, and uh, we were like, hey man, uh, what happened? You know, and they told us, you know, Coach Knight, you know, had his one of his Coach Knight nights and was just going in, and they were like, okay, we're, we're not – I, I don't want to hear it. So we actually went over to his apartment, and uh, we were there for a while. When we went to practice, when we finally agreed to go to practice, guys, I was cannot – Same day? You. Yeah, same day. We, we finally figured out we're going to go to practice. <laughs> it was hours later, almost like a, like a negotiation. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh, I hey, listen, listen to this. We walk into the locker room. I, I kid you not, all of our gear, all of the stuff was in our locker was in the hallway piled up. <laughs> it was in the hallway piled up. Hey, literally, almost like you were walking in a dumpster. Wow. And, and, and I'm sitting there like, hey, look, my, every, I'm like, what did we just do? First of all, that was first. Second, second, we ended up having to practice in street clothes because they said, "We're first of all, we're not coming on this court as coaches. If y'all going to practice, you're going to run your own practice, and you're not going to put on an Indiana University practice uniform. So we had to practice with whatever we had on. Wow. Classic, classic coach night. Uh, Raph, because I've heard that is a great story. Yeah, I've, then, I've heard I'm not. Hey, I'm not done. I got a couple more. We're out here trying to run practices, and and we and we're out here trying to play little coach nights. And everybody's yelling, "This is not right. This ain't right. You're not doing it right. You're not cutting hard." 
so we're doing is everything that he said to do, and we didn't do it that well the night before, right? <laughs> so then he he kick us out off the court. We all going back in the locker room, and here's the story. Story was if you guys were working a corporate job, what you did last night, you all be fired. That's why I put all your stuff out. And we came out that Tuesday and played Michigan or somebody and beat them. You know what out of them? I mean. Like they sold something. It wasn't even a contest. <laughs> it wasn't even a contest the way we came out that next game. But see, it was stuff like that that I didn't even think about. I forgot. But it's stuff like that. You're talking about a story. I mean, it's not it's like I, I keep that story to myself. But like the lesson of that was if you were working a corporate job, and I think a lot of people that's on this phone can agree to that. You know, you can't control the ball going on the whole sometimes shooting it, but you can control your, your attitude and effort. We probably didn't have the attitude and effort that game. And that's what he really wanted us to understand in his way. In his, but we came out that very next game, and I mean, we had uh, – well, we played. We beat them. We beat them pretty solid. I mean, but it was a what, strong team too. What year was that? Uh, it was my freshman my freshman year. So we lost to Iowa. So you can look at it. We lost – that was 90 – that was uh, – that was – that was – that was winter 97. No, no, 90s, 94. Winter 95. So we lost to Iowa. We lost to Iowa. And then who are we played on this game? I know we won. And it was really during that time frame. In the, cu- in the course of a couple of days, that happened. Let's see. I'm trying to pull it up. Yeah. Um, so, uh, where's the Michigan, 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 Michigan State? Is this at home? Sixty-five, fifty-two at Assembly Hall. Was it Michigan? Yeah, it's Michigan. Yeah, 65, Michigan. Fifty-two I, beat them. By yeah, it was 13. Michigan, and they were really good. And they were really, really good. We, I mean, we, we, I mean, solid. We played solid every every facet of the game: offense, defense, uh, motion, offense, cutting, communication. Um, I mean, we played a solid game. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just trying to look back there. That's just awesome hearing those stories, though. I mean, because those all those little bitty tidbits, and, and so funny. And, and I'm not like a a Bob Knight loyalist, but it's right. so funny how all the stories, how he related it, how he related that back to the corporate world. Yeah, like he talked about being yeah. fired. I mean, yeah. there, and there's no better lesson than that right there. And, and this I action, think a lot man. of people would have a lot of people would have thought that he'd have just got pissed off and right. screamed and yelled and that and yet actually sounds like there was a pretty good learning lesson learned in that in that, yeah, in no, that it practice. Was, it, it was. I mean, but that day was that day was like just you you gotta you know that's when people for me, Derek, Jim, and, and you know, everybody listening, when people talk about, oh, I could I can play for for Bob Knight. Oh, I can, you know, oh, Bob. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying that, you know, like like I went to war. I didn't go to war. Like, you were like, man, oh, you survived Bob Knight. Come on, when I survive? First of all, you have no idea what you're getting into. <laughs> I don't right. care how much you can prep for it. You don't know what right. you're getting into. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. I mean, you don't know. I don't care how mentally tough you are. You're 17, 18 years old, hearing all kind of things and seeing all kind of things. At a high level, well, you don't even have time to really process it. Now, you know, you know another another great story. Derek, I run camps throughout the country. Uh, mm-hmm. Had an old school coach come uh, actually assist me at a camp in Houston, and uh, he was telling me a story about how you know he's a. He said, "I want to come learn from you, young coaches, because you know I'm, I'm a Bob Knight. I come from the Bob Knight era. You know, era. You know, we were tough mm-hmm. on, on on players, and we we made we made players." Throw up, running, suicides and stuff. And I, I looked at him, you know, I'm hoping you guys see my face. I said, oh, yeah? Oh, man, that's pretty cool, man. That's that's, what's, that's, that's amazing. So, mm-hmm. hey, after camp, because I didn't say anything about it, I, all I told the guy was this. I said, hey, coach, do me a favor. Hey, look at my bio, please. And I walked away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, coach, look at my bio. Hey, Jim, I say this in love, man. He was an older white gentleman. He came back to me pale. <laughs> he said, man, I'm so sorry, man. I didn't know. I said, well, no, nothing against it. I wouldn't expect you to know. 
But, you know, I'm like, man, before you come to anybody's camp, look at the bio. Exactly. <laughs> look at look at the bio, man. You gonna come help me? I'm, I might teach you a thing or two. I'm, I'm, but I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, oh, you oh, play? Man. Oh, you? Oh, you a Bob Knight enthusiast? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I'm, I'm trying to do. I, I got too much of that in me. I'm trying. I'm trying to get that off of me. <laughs> As I'm a little oh. terror because I saw it for four years. But it was so yeah. funny, man. It was so funny. <laughs> 